Hello friends, in this video I'm going to show you how I made this character look like Sonic the Hedgehog. I take off the factory paint with 100% acetone. And get that little pose too. I took off the head so I can modify the body a little bit, like give him quills and fill in the gap of the tail there. I also fixed up the medallion because I wanted to have a different shape. I used Paper Clay Delight Air Dry Clay for this project and it uses quite a bit of it. I want to say that in this video, this voiceover is both me and my little sibling and we're going to talk about Sonic the Hedgehog in between the times that I'm telling you this tutorial. So about Sonic himself. I like his character in these games. In the adventure games. In the adventure games. He's cool. He's a, he's a cool character. I think people are ashamed to say that he's like a cool character when he's like super cool. He's like made to be cool. He's made to be cool, but I like how iconic shaped he is. Mm -hmm. I think particularly in 2D, like the classic Sonic, I like how like specifically shaped he is. Actually need to make his back quills out of something that will stick and hot glue is gonna do the trick. Pulling back from just a drop gives us the right shape and I can trim down the excess. Like he's speed, he's made to be fast. Yeah. Like he's designed with speed in mind. Yeah. I'm gonna give him his signature quills so I'm packing clay on as a base on the figure's quills. And I like that about him. I really, I really do like that. <laughs> it, it, it doesn't stop him from being like cool looking, you know? Like, yeah. Now I can plop on the curved cone shapes without having to blend it too much. I'm doing his regular six locks. Like fast things are, you know, traditionally cool, but this is like kind of more anime he's like, cool. You I know guess? what he's like? He's like, um, like if you were to think of like a car, it's As, like, yeah, there's uh, like a lot of cars now that you can just get like regular price, regular kind of car. You can get an Acura now. And like, it's like, yeah, sure, this car is like nice and it looks cool and all that, but it's not really cool. And then you could see like a Ferrari or something, and you're like, that's a cool looking car. I feel like Sonic is like a Ferrari of like a speed design. There's like yeah. a lot of designs that are like meant to interpret like speed and they just don't kind of do it right. I think Sonic is like the pinnacle. Yeah. He's like, he's the best around, man. His design is just, it's fun to look at. It's easy to replicate even. And clearly people like it. You know, he wouldn't have as many fans if he wasn't, like, cool looking. The design of a character is so important to how people like it. Because, like, you could have, like, a cool character, but if they're not cool to look at, nobody's gonna want to, like, see it. I talk a lot about, like, indie games and, like, what are their inspirations and stuff. There is so much inspiration into indie games with, like, specifically Adventure Sonic. And it's like, I know that you were probably a fan of Sonic at one point in your life. You might deny it now, but I know. Even with just four locks, the head is way too heavy. So while the inside is still wet, I can scrape out that clay and basically make it hollow. I know the truth because I am also a Sonic fan. I have always liked Sonic. I like in Sonic's design that like he's based off the uh, Inkblot characters and like that's apparent. He definitely looks like it. It's like, I think even more so than like Mickey Mouse, which is like when people think of like a rubber hose kind of character, they think of like Minky Mouse. But I think him being based off of it, I would have loved, I don't, have you ever seen the concepts of Sonic as a rabbit? I can't even imagine him as a rabbit. He would be so boring if he was a rabbit. He would not be nearly he, he as He would popular. not have the personality he wouldn't. if he didn't have this because design. I think a big part of Sonic is this appreciation for American cartoons. I have his lock set and I'm going to sculpt more quills trying to match the toy style. The lighting I used makes it hard to see the details of the white clay. Maybe that filter will help? No. Well, I made flat triangles and I carved in a couple lines along the length in the direction of the fur and I did this a lot. He's like one of the top ones. If we're talking purely with just design, I would mm -hmm. say Hello Kitty is also one of them. Absolutely. I was, I was just thinking that. And it's because she's simple too. Yeah. And you know, like two may be not the word that most people would think of, but he is kind of like a simple character, you know? Yeah. Like 
If if you're not taking in the adventure shoes or any of the power ups that the he gets, silk shoes, yes. He's got the six quills. Mm -hmm. He's got the gloves. He's got the huge eyes, and his shoes are like two colors. Yeah, you know that's simple. <laughs> it really is compared to like a lot of character design. When you're younger and you're starting to do things like character design, you're like that character looks cool. It's always like the worst character design. But never once have I ever seen like Sonic and I'm like that's not a fantastic character design. I love you Sonic. It's what got me started. Absolutely. I don't, I don't know There's about a lot you, of but... people I remember I think I guess you know when they're like what was your first fandom that you drew for and you can tell in somebody's art what was the first fandom they ever Ever drew art for but it's like I don't I don't feel like I have that like, I feel like my artistic career didn't start until I started like looking into Sonic and the Sonic concepts and things you know? right it's like there's so much that goes into Sonic I'm, a, I'm just I'm a, I'm a hater I'm, I mean I'm a lover I love Sonic I'm transfixed he's the best oh my god <laughs> I don't know I love his design I think he's he's like like the perfect modern-day very simple design and and still seen as cool. Yeah. That's like a big part of it. It's like, there's a lot of people and they're like, this isn't cool. He's like a Pokemon that's not muddled by even just 150 other ones, you know? Yeah, there's only one Sonic. I mean, there's like three Sonics, <laughs> but like, you yeah. know. Listen, they wouldn't copy it if twice it wasn't great. if it wasn't good. Exactly. From the perspective of being a human being, a real human being in the real world, you know, <laughs> it's so good, you gotta do it three times. Listen, designing characters is hard. I don't think Silver even looks that much uh, like he him. He does not at all look anything like him. But yeah. he, they also took it to where he's iconic in himself, even in color, you know? Partway through. Can you see them? Whatever, he needs more quills. Yes, like, I think that was he like... he owns blue, you yes. know? When I see this specific shade of blue, I'm like, that is sonic blue. Like, that is owned by sonic. That like, is Mr. Hedgehog. Like, I yeah, I think he's really... Uh, Classic design, an iconic design, a really important design, just as a design. Mm -hmm. I think everyone should play Sonic <laughs> Adventure. If you're like, I don't really like Sonic. You see like a lot of indie games now that are like 3D. They're clearly like fans of this game in particular in some of the things like in the environment. Anyway, anyway just play it. It's like $5 on Steam. And then sometimes it's like you can get Adventure and Adventure 2 for like $5 together on Steam. Why haven't you played it yet? You should... I let them dry completely and I've sanded with paper but I need more power so I'm using an electric nail file with a cone tip to get him smooth and decent looking before I paint him. It's important. I think from a 2D to 3D perspective, the 2D games have like enough story to where this isn't like too far of a reach. Like I've it isn't. Yeah. It's just that it has the ability to be in three dimensions and the ability to have the voice acting that it does that allows it to be a little bit more fleshed out and like easy to read than the other ones but like when you're kind of looking at the intricacies or whatever of the 2d games that like it's not that far off it really you is. know i masked off a bit to give him a thin yellow base coat where the peach fuzz will go and he's ready for a speedy blue with some shading and highlights it's like i'll, I'll give you that adventure 2 is a little a little heavy it is like pretty when heavy. you look into it. When but... you really think about some of the plot of the adventure games, it is pretty heavy. It's like pretty nuanced for a game that is about Sonic the Hedgehog and two also basically aimed at children. And I like that. I wish more games would do that. A lot of storytelling now doesn't try to be as clear and concise. Like, in Adventure 2, Sonic straight up says there's always a cop when you don't need one. Which is like, that's a very strong thing to say, Sonic. And even though it's probably meant to be read as a joke, the majority of that game, you are beating up government robots in Sonic Adventure 2. Near exclusively. Near exclusively. You do beat up only a couple in the Eggman levels of Eggman's robots. Yeah, it's very few. Only the ones that are on his base. Yeah. 
And I mean, it's revealed in uh, Sonic Riders that he's the person who makes all those robots anyway. But it's like, you don't know that. They didn't release that yet. Like, there's a very clear message to, like, Sonic Adventure 2 in that it is anti-government. And, like, Sonic is, like, P.O. Like, he's actually... <laughs> Sonic gets trolled. So he really <laughs> did get trolled. He got trolled. Like, it's just funny. The yellow made the beige easier to show up on the figure, and I can go in and clean up the edges. It's it's fu- it, it's funny to me how people just don't... They just don't understand it. They just don't get it. So about Sonic himself. I like his character in these games. In the adventure games. In the adventure games. He's cool. He's a, he's a cool character. I think people are ashamed to say that he's like a cool character when he's like super cool. He's like made to be cool. He's made to be cool. But also, I think it's funny if you are an American person, like if you're an American figure, social figure, and Sega announces that they're basing an aspect of Sonic's personality on you. I masked where his eyes go. I followed the toys mold and gave him two and an eyebrow if you missed that. Your days are numbered. <laughs> because let me tell you something. You know, it didn't, it happened twice. Again, not a lot, but it happened twice. <laughs> I unmask and scrape off some overpaint before touching up the shapes. That he's based on Michael Jackson, pause, and Bill Clinton. Hmm. <laughs> if they told me oh, we're basing so- if I had any kind of skeletons in my closet, immediately gonna kill myself. Not even a joke. <laughs> I, can't. I can't live with that. If I have a skeleton, it's gonna come out. It's the rule of it's like the the Sonic law is like Sonic they- is too much of a good guy to let these things, despite these character these characters, <laughs> these, characters, these people, people being part of him, fundamentally go on being bad guys. He can't let that happen. He can't let that happen, even if it's vicariously. He's too good of a boy. He's a boy. <laughs> He gets great big irises because I adore the emerald green and I feel like the eyes and the artworks really started me off on the style that I draw with today. So they're really crucial in this project. What do you think of the cartoon Sonic? Just Jaleel, Jaleel White, Sonic. White Sonic. I think they're okay. I like that they're all like funny and like goofy guys. I almost consider them all the same character. I also consider them all the same character. That's the voice that Classic Sonic should have had. In my head, that's what I think of Classic Sonic as. I don't understand why they made him mute. Maybe it would have been jarring to <laughs> other audiences. Like, I didn't imagine him with Listen, a if, voice. The, if there's a, somebody that was a child that played Sonic the Hedgehog and the 2D Sonics, they probably would have watched the Sonic cartoons at some point. Like, they were probably a fan of that, you Like, know? if you're tizzy about Sonic, you're gonna... You're going to do that. Yeah. That's not really even weird. I tried to follow the 2D artwork from the adventure games, and I gave him deep green eyes with a stark black pupil and a light green ring to complement the catch light. Sonic X is freaking stupid. Stupid? It is! I've never actually finished... What is the plot exactly? Like, what is... What? There's, like, a part where they go in space. Yeah, I don't know about that. Otherwise, Sonic X is about, like Sonic destroyed one of Eggman's contraptions that had the Chaos Emeralds and the Master Emerald. Um, by like destroying it, it sent off some kind of chaos energy burst thing. Uh, Into that... the real world, right? <laughs> Sonic it sent, goes to the real world. It sent them to, like, I, I don't know if they called it a mirror universe or an alternate dimension, but basically the planet that they were on, which we'll just call Mobius, they don't. I don't think they give it a name in the show. I don't remember. It's like a parallel world. It like runs the exact same course and stuff as Earth. The shape of the medallion and the badge is going to be gold. This is where I painted his Chaos Emerald and I headcanon that his specific one is the yellow one because he used the artificial yellow one the first time he did Chaos Control. Uh-huh. So when that chaos energy thing went off, they all got trans- everybody within like a mile circumference got transported to Earth. I made the necklace of the toy just gold because rings were the only round thing that I found significant to him. I paint the bottom of his shoes for detail and the pop heads of the figure yellow like his emerald. And I just gloss him up. The only good thing Sonic X is for is for making fake screenshots <laughs> and doing screenshot redraws of it. And doing terrible uh, dubs from 2006.
Oh. I try. I try to. No. No, he's just too heavy. Okay, whatever.